Okay, well, happy Tuesday morning to you all. It's a, a late morning. Did a bunch of work from the house today. And uh, getting a little bit of a late start. It's about, I don't know, 10, 15, 10, 30 in the morning, something like that. And uh, headed out on a little CB500F today for my work commute. Uh, we may have some rain today. It's really overcast. We've got about a 30% chance of rain most of the day. We'll see. We had a 30% chance yesterday, and not a drop fell. Oh, man, it was beautiful all day yesterday. The weather was just phenomenal. So, anyway, I'm rocking the rain gear, at least on top. I didn't put my uh, rain pants on because I don't need them, but just in case the uh, skies unzip on me on the way to work, I won't be totally drenched, hopefully. in the backpack today too I normally don't like that but I didn't want to go through putting the tail bag back on the back of the uh, CB 500 F seat because I've got the solo cowl on here right now so that's all right I'll use the backpack this is a cheapie that I got from uh, FC moto out of the Netherlands uh, it was you know you buy anything from them this is where I got the gloves uh, you buy anything and you can add on this uh, moto backpack for I think it was $14 or $17 or something really cheap yeah sure why not it's a decent backpack it's kind of along the lines of the uh, OGO Mach 3 or Mach 5 so it's uh, contoured hard shell on the back of it it's got a couple of pockets has a laptop sleeve in it it's not bad can't beat it for 17 bucks I don't know how waterproof it is, so <laughs> we might find out today. <laughs> Hopefully my laptop doesn't get uh, totally drenched. We'll find out. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, I've got the little uh, uh, Beeline Moto GPS up here on my uh, gauge spoiler. Doing uh, its routing. I plugged in my office for the destination on my phone. Got the phone in the tank bag. Uh, I'm just probably going to go back to that because I don't really like this big uh, quad lock arm craned way up here uh, in my face. I kind of like the Spartan look of the uh, gauges on this and keep it more naked style. So I'll probably pull that uh, mount off of there soon. It just doesn't work well with this tank bag because the you know when you turn the bars the phone contacts the tank bag over here just kind of fighting for space so I'll skip that I'll save this mount and thin it down put it on my Ducati or one of the other bikes now the uh, Aprilia RS660 is supposed to have Bluetooth integration and you know, an app that you can run on your phone that'll do nav right up on the TFT and all that. So that might be kind of cool. Uh, I'm sure I'll get some kind of a sleek tank bag, maybe something along this size or smaller for the uh, Aprilia, but we'll see when I get it. And apparently uh, Aprilia has said they're going to start doing deliveries as early as December this year. I saw it on their website. So cool. The, uh, the price was officially locked down. Don't quote me on it, but I believe I read 11299. So 113, that's good. It was under the 12,000 mark, not under 10,000, but you know, I, you're getting a, an Italian machine with a bunch of premium electronics. So I kind of figured it was going to be a little pricier than the competition. So let's see what happens with that. Now, I haven't heard any more uh, details on the uh, Trail 125 Hunter Cub yet. We're still hoping for November sometime. We'll find out. I've been watching uh, a guy down in Australia that has one. Uh, Ride with Waro, I believe is the channel name. I'll try to link it here. Uh, he's got a uh, Trail 125 or CT 125 Hunter Cub, as they're called there. And uh, he's been posting a lot of videos on modifications that he's doing to his bike and uh, really using it in the outback you know rough roads taking it on single track and muddy roads and gravel and you know all kinds of stuff so that's the element for that bike he is uh, proving it out seems to be a good little workhorse 
so I'm anxious to get mine and start playing with it. I'll probably start ordering a lot of the accessories preemptively uh, from uh, Wii Bike in Japan. The accessories that I'm particularly interested in for it uh, are the windscreen and I believe the one that I had seen was a Zeta, Z-E-T-A, something like that. And it uh, has a nav bar, uh, you know, like a, a handlebar brace that doubles as a nav bar in the center. So that's really cool. And the uh, screen design, the mounting points on it, allow you to mount it right side up for kind of a upside down trapezoidal uh, look, narrower at the top, wider at the bottom, or you can invert it 180 degrees and mount it that way to give you wider up top and narrower at the bottom. So I think that might work out. The only drawback is they are on back order uh, for a very long time, like three months. So I'll probably get my orders in early. Uh, the other thing is uh, the uh, engine guard with a big hoop around the bottom of it. So you can put uh, foot pegs on it, you know, highway pegs, whatever. That'd be kind of cool. Man, there's a lot of traffic for 10.30 in the morning. <clears throat> I need to clean my helmet. It's still got Arkansas bugs all over it. Well, North Texas and Arkansas. This thing rides so much better with this new suspension on it. It's amazing. It always rode well, but the front forks were a little wishy-washy because of the bend, obviously. So it looks like I need to rotate the mount on this thing. The, the little V-line is interesting. I haven't gotten totally familiar with it yet, learning you know how to read all the little symbols, but it's fairly straightforward. Uh, you know, direction of travel, that's the indication of your next turn, little dot, and then miles, you know, 10 miles to my next turn or exit. Um, it's not just a remote display for your phone. It actually has a uh, uh, three-axis sensor in there and what appears to be even a compass, because if you rotate that device independent of what your phone is doing, it changes its directions. So it must have its own compass and a bunch of other electronics in there. Uh, it definitely has a tilt sensor, which I'm surprised that it's not uh, orienting itself straight vertical because you can roll it and it stays facing upright. So I'll probably get in there and adjust that mount and get it more straight up and down. But I got several extra mounts for it. Uh, you know, handlebar mounts and a couple of others so I can use it on different bikes. And it just, you know, it's like a, it's more than a quarter turn. It's about a, a third of a turn and it pops loose from the base. So it's got a little four lug uh, attachment on the bottom of it. Ooh, it is windy this morning. I don't know if you guys can hear me over all the wind noise. I'm, I'm dialing in a lean just to go straight. It is pretty windy. So I'll try to get my helmet closer to the uh, little beeline there. Uh, showing 1.4 and a little merge uh, out exit icon. That's pretty cool. Not many uh, directions are routing for this trip because uh, it's a straight shot right down I-10 to my office, which is right up here on the side of the road at Campbell. So uh, maybe on the way home, I'll do some twisty routing or something and watch it do its thing, try to form an opinion on it. I don't really have an opinion yet. It's cool. I like the minimalist uh, look to it, but uh, I haven't really figured out how accurate it is yet or what mapping it's using in the back end.
short, quick commute today. Probably be here most of the day. Got a bunch of remote work I'm going to be doing for customers, so I don't need to uh, commute very far today as far as running around town. So if I can miss the pole, there it is. All right then. Well, I will uh, catch up with you all later this afternoon and maybe uh, give that little uh, beeline moto a better workout than a straight shot. <laughs> okay, well, it turns out that I do have to make another run today. A customer called over in the Bel Air area and they need uh, some assistance. So I'll head over there and uh, if I can knock that out, get out of there before traffic is really crazy. Boy, being over there, that's almost as bad as being downtown. Anywhere close to the Galleria area or Bel Air. Blah. Man, it sucks in the afternoons. Okay. line telling me my turn is in 1.3 but it's not really a turn it's not showing a turn indication but not really like a merge ramp maybe it will when it gets a little closer now it shows a merge so back there that should have been a merge ramp or something that was showing a turn instead which is a little different maybe i just don't understand the different icons yet so 0.5 is the exit it's kind of indicating a general peel off to the right Okay, well, I'm here, and it looks like uh, there are no available spots, so it's going to be garage for me. Yep. Garage. I don't see any uh, spots that I can cheat and park up on a sidewalk or anything, so I won't be a complete tool about it. Oh, look at that. Visitor, look at that. 
right here inside the door. Beautiful. I could take that one over there where it says no parking. I think I will. I'll leave this one for a car. You're going, you're going, you're going, you're going, you go. I'll go. I'll park here where nobody else can. Yeah, it even says motorcycle only. Nice. I didn't see that from across the way. Let's see if I can not bump into this very nice Panamera. Well, I'm headed back home for the day. I'm trying to get the little uh, beeline out of my pocket. See how it's, I don't know if you can see that, the lighting's kind of poor in here, but you can roll it, rotate it, and it's got its own little uh, inertial sensor in there. So I'm not quite sure why it's not resetting to uh, straight up and down, but oh well. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna, I know which, which way I need to go home. I know my routing, but I'm gonna watch it and see what it tells me to do as far as uh, turn by turn and try to learn the little uh, icons a little bit. like I might get wet. Probably should have checked the forecast before I got on the road. Oh well. I need to stop and put on my rain jacket because I'm starting to feel some sprinkles. It tells you in uh, miles and feet. You can set your distance uh, options and things like that in the app. Uh, so it's telling me in 301 feet, I need to be getting left, and that's uh, about right. Yeah, I think I better suit up out to the west over there it's looking a little gray and hazy go ahead and suit up here just so I don't get drenched on the way home oh the joys of Houston rush hour thought I was getting out early enough to avoid some of this but apparently not just before 4 o'clock, 3.50, something like that. Hmm. 12.6 miles until I turn again. Uh, I don't think so. The highway ramp is right there. It's, you know, what, 900 feet? Hmm. It seems like it's missing on its directions a little bit. Let's see what happens when I get closer to it.
All right, well, home again, home again. Busy, productive day. Got uh, several things handled that I needed to do. Quite a few of them before I even left the house. And then uh, three more while I was out, so. Knocking down a bunch of them. It's gonna be a busy uh, last quarter of the year here, I'm sure. My dance card is already full through uh, late November. I just filled up my last two empty days. Uh, so it's going to be a busy one, I think. But hey, busy is good. So I bid you all farewell, and uh, we'll catch up with you for the next ride.